Hi campus community, I'm Brenda Harms. I serve as the Interim Vice Chancellor of Enrollment Management here at UW-Superior and today I get the privilege of speaking with you a little bit about our student body here at the university. I'm pleased to share with you, as many of you know, last week was 10th day and I'm pleased to share with you that our overall campus population is over 2,600 for the first time since 2013. So our total number, 2,604, and we're pretty thrilled with that number. We have 766 new individuals engaged with our campus and with our university this year. The breakdown on that's 327 freshmen, um, both online as well as on campus, 324 transfer students, both online and on campus, and 115 graduate students. So thrilled with those numbers all around. One of the specific populations that folks often ask me about is our freshman population on our campus. And so I did want to speak just a little bit more about that population specifically. This year we had 322 new freshmen to our campus. That number is up 1% from last year, and we are very pleased with that bit of growth um, over the course of last this last year. Our domestic students are 287 of those that 322 and 35 of those students are international students. Our international students come to us from over a dozen countries from around the world and of course we love the diversity that that group brings to our campus. Of our domestic student body, 55% of those students are from the state of Wisconsin, 41% come to us from Minnesota, and the rest come to us from seven different states throughout the United States. That freshman class is supported by UW Superior Foundation um, with 140 scholarships given, or 140 students receiving scholarships from the foundation. So 40% of our incoming freshman class receive an academically based scholarship from our foundation. We're pleased with that number as, as well, of course. Our freshman class this year has an average ACT score of, of 21, and they come to us with an high school GPA of about 3.17. Those two numbers have held fairly consistent for several years now. Also of that student body incoming freshman class, about 30% of that student group are undeclared in their major at this point in time. We also know that as part of that group, 15% of our students come to us in our bridge program, which is our conditionally admitted students. Two years ago, we began a new pilot program to really offer some additional support to those bridge students as they come into our campus, and that program is called Jumpstart. This year, our Jumpstart students came to campus four or five days early and were supported on campus by our Educational Success Center, as well as partnering with EDI in a number of areas to look specifically at additional skills around um, academic skills, study skills, time management skills, to really begin to acclimate to the campus culture and environment here on our campus as well as to create for them a bit of a support system so that as the school year started they already had their go-to people in place. We're very excited about that program and are really hoping to see positive impacts on our retention as a result of some of those efforts. I also want to take this opportunity to remind you all of our early alert system. If you are a staff member, faculty member, anyone on our campus who has interactions with students who you think might be struggling a bit or could use some extra support, please take the time to go online and submit an alert. This is really our opportunity for our campus community to provide outreach and really create the best possible scenario for student success for all of our students on campus. I want to thank you for taking the opportunity to watch this video and I wish you all a great day.